Welcome to our coverage of the Devon Construction 8-Ball Super League Nationals. Now you'll notice in this coverage that this championship is played under international rules. The sad thing is that Clubs New Zealand have not adopted these international rules, so it's very difficult to attract young people, kids and juniors, to really embrace the game. The other downside is that a fully-fledged New Zealand side has been selected to tour England and play in the Nationals over there. And they are under international laws, but the chartered clubs aren't. From the Wollstone Club, we bring you the Devon Construction 8 Ball Super Bowl New Zealand Championship Final. Simon Singleton from Otago will take on Steve Denton, who we saw, of course, in the semi, uh, that he is from Canterbury. So an all-South Island final. John Berry is in the commentary position with me. And Simon Singleton, good player? Uh, not too bad. Uh, this year alone, he's won the Kashmir, the tournament at Kashmir, Hornby, Geraldine and Mount Monganui. And... Um, <laughs> If he was a racehorse, you'd say he came in with a bit of form. I would say so, and he's up against Steve Denham, who we saw before, who's uh, not going to be easy to beat, but this should be fantastic. The break went the way of Stephen Denton. He sank a red. And there we have the old yellow over a hole in front of the red situation, so he may be tempted to go for yellows, but very thoughtful player Steve and uh, Simon I'm sure is exactly the same calculating player plays for position works it out two or three moves ahead so we're underway here the race to nine is the final Simon beat both Kerry Wirtz and Matt McGuinness to get here and they're two New Zealand players so this is the standard we're talking about now Yes, the cream has really come to the top, and a great it's a South Island final. Yes, I uh, think Simon's based in Queenstown, isn't he? Yes, he is. Mm. He's been there for five years, apparently. He he's a um, raft guy. So he's quite a hard case, and um, let's have a look at him. This is the first time up. We've seen him in the Otago colours. So red and black plays gold and blue. In many other sports, there's been great rivalry between Otago and Canterbury. This will be no exception. Exactly. Simon now surveys the table. <clears throat> His first appearance here. And this is the final of 2015. You may think that it's an advantage for Steve having played on this table, but Daryl from Mont Q, these tables are all exactly the same. No player would say they prefer on one table to another. There was an interesting shot. We've seen that Two Simon. Shots. Leaves the top right open. No, he's given away two shots because nothing hit a cushion. That's a rule that we've, yes. uh, yep, haven't seen much of in the no, semi. But, well, uh, no, mm. uh, that's actually the first time it's happened. And uh, Simon was trying to knock the opposition ball over to the cushion and he just, just mishit it. I think it might be news. And it's understandable too. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, there is $10,000 <laughs> on the line here for the winner, 5000 for the runner-up. So she's high stakes here at the Wollstone Club. I mean, Wouldn't be possible, of course, without all the support of the sponsors. They've made this happen, and it's been well received here in Canterbury. Yeah, it puts a bit of pressure on it when you know it's a $5,000 difference, possibly. <laughs> if you're in this. Steve Denton originates from England success over there been here seven years he was telling me a fully naturalized New Zealander Simon a rafting boy from Queenstown yes. must have a bit of time on his hands <laughs> he doesn't have much of a suntan for someone who works outside oh and it's a miss yeah just a little bit of edge to a final isn't that Yes. Settling down process occurring here now. Yes, remember Steve has two shots, but he certainly yep. he certainly didn't mean that to be one of them. He, he wanted the that. most of it. Yeah. No. But it's early days. And I look over in the crowd there and see Steve in and young lad. And that's the sort of guy we're trying to get these rules in Canterbury for, so that in New Zealand, so everyone's playing this. Great. And this sort of exposure certainly will not do the eight ball super championships. 
any arm at all. <clears throat> Where are we off to here, Steve? Going up that top right again. He's, He's got, got a score to settle with that one. Yeah. He makes it this time. Uh-oh. Yes, no, it's not in the fight. Now, if it had hit the red in, there would have been two shots to, 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 to Simon. Simon. It's a very tight table, isn't it? Yes. The margin of error is very, very slim indeed. The thing is, Simon's sitting over in his chair there watching, thinking he's not going to get another shot. So uh, he'll be very pleased if he does. I wouldn't ride him out of this frame just yet. Race to nine, remember. You're lucky I'm not a gambling man, Peter. I'd have your money by now. Would you? Yeah, you would. You'd have struck me clean. <laughs> I always think it's too hard to earn it again. <laughs> I haven't learned that lesson. <laughs> now here's an interesting note fact that when when Simon was 16, he beat the great Jimmy White in a nine ball exhibition. Well done, nice scalp to have. Oh yes. Now this will be an interesting shot. So if you can see past that red and get the yellow. Hard to tell on the screen. It is, yes, yeah, it is very it's hard. Probably <laughs> will be guided by what he plays. We've seen about would be four or five shots in the semi-final that we both thought was impossible. And they managed to get it. We saw a couple of screwed shots as well in the semi-final, yeah, yeah. which was great to see. And he gets it clean. Oh. Where's he going to leave it, though? Oh, oh no. Well, it's, it's, it's possible. Of, yes. mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you take it right up the top? I think so. I don't, let's have a look. Yeah, that's where he's going. And you want to screw back so you can get the black in the middle. And he does. Yes. He had to screw back because this red in the bottom left was covering the pocket, so. Not quite on the cushion. Close no. enough. Just makes it a bit awkward. This to take out frame one. Yeah. And he gets it. Frame. The local lad draws first one. One nil it is in the final here at the Wollstone Club. Simon Singleton now so addresses frame, the Simon's table frame. frame number two. Interesting that the players opt to actually set the uh, the triangle. You set the standard. They're very fussy. These guys uh, often the norm, you go up and set the set the balls up, and they'll they'll think there's a gap between them or something. They rather do it themselves. So, so that's true. that's allowable, obviously. Yes, yes. Mm. True gentlemen. They said, okay, yeah. we'll set our own balls up and. Right. You, know, you can't blame anyone else for a, an incorrect rack, so to speak. What can Steve get out of this? Well, this no is a bit, down, yeah, so. this is a bit tighter. Mm. There's two reds on the cushion on the left-hand side here, so and yet that's all he can see, I think, a red. So he may play a safety shot. Yes, so just play the safety shot. Says to Simon, you make up the mind. Exactly. This might be one of those um, tip for tat games. Simon will be wanting to get into a rhythm. He, he's, he's bit pretty, of a jerky, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit mad with that other frame. I was watching him play Kerry Wirtz earlier on, and he had some brilliant play, and then even and then put in a, a rough shot. So he's trying to knock that out of his game. That all adds colour. No frills here. Okay, still playing safety. So you at home thinking this is Paul Wirtz crash bash, and they all go down and see you later. Here's a fine example of just positioning yourself. Still got the choice of what colour they're going for. Yep. The thing is, Pete, some people don't like this sort of game. They'd rather see the smash and bash and put them. We have players that smash them in all the time. And I just love the fact that it's a cross between billiard, snooker yes, and pool. That's yes, the great thing about yes. the game. And it is a lot easier without the numbered balls, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. You're oh, either on red or you're on yellow. Let's find out what we're on here for Steve. Remember that he's on red. He's on red, but remember Ooh, because nothing paint. was down, he was allowed to hit the That's yellow on top correct. of the red. Correct, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> to be honest, I forget that rule myself. You know. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. What's he doing there? And then you realise that... Uh, nothing down. So he's on reds now, so I think... Um, you like the position of them? No. <laughs> but once again, he, it was the only choice he had. He didn't really have anything else He's to also go. blocked the bottom right with a yellow. But we're talking Steve Denton here, so... Anything's on? Exactly. He 
he's blocked the bottom left. Yes, uh, Tit for tat game. Yeah. A couple in the centre you would think for Simon there if you want yep. to have a look. So all he'll, be, he'll be thinking mainly about these two balls aiming at the southern red. How to get those. The other, other four look reasonably easy enough to get. So he'll want to be on the left hand side at some stage. So you yep. get the white over the left hand side to make that a little easier. And it just had a fine touch, didn't it? Yes. Just enough roll to get there. You want to do one two here, I think. Yep, that's it. Screw back. You needed to be on the left hand side of the table to get these yellows. It's our first opportunity to see how good a pottery is. He's had a wee twitchy start, but he's uh, settled into his work here now. The boy from Otago. Queenstown, one of the most beautiful parts in the world is Queenstown. And I'm not sure what a raft guy earns in Queenstown, but I'm pretty sure King Grand is going a long way. <laughs> 30 seconds, Simon. Not a bad top up. Now, Simon under the clock there. Yes. Is that because of the final? Yes, I think the uh, referee, Barry Appleton, is a, a fantastic referee. He brings a lot of professionalism to our sport. So he put him under the clock. He had yep. 30 seconds to play that job. Didn't yes. happen in the semi. No, and to be honest, had that happened in the quarterfinals, uh, yeah. we wouldn't be in the late, late time mm -hmm. uh, situation. Right. Uh, do you think that's a good rule to bring in? I think so. Some players do tend to study it, study it, walk back. I mean, you don't want to rush them, but there's got to be a, a, a line for the balance here. Yes. And we're talking a minute, by the way, I think. Right. So he said 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Realistically, a minute should be long enough, you would have thought. 100%. And he's got one up the top, one on the bottom right. This one for the centre. Yep. Uh, so got some options. He's done very well because initially in the beginning of this frame, the yellows were on this left-hand side and both the middle pocket and corner pocket were blocked by a red and he's managed to manoeuvre the white over there and get all three of them out of the way. So done very well. He's opened yeah. the game up. Yeah, I think he's a bit unlucky there. Yeah, I mean. Six reds left on, yes. two yellows. In the race for nine. He probably feels he's got a bit of time because that, that red is blocked in the bottom right-hand side by the yellow. But you don't want to give someone of Steve Denton's ability any shot. That was a good shot. Very good shot. Positioned the white yes, ideally. exactly. Before he couldn't see this yellow, now, now he can. The black, you're going to have to be careful with it. The bottom left is blocked. Oh, beautiful. Comes across the table. Now to the centre. I think this is an eight-wheel clearance, is it, Peter? I don't know. Uh, Chris, can the table? And he does. One frame apiece. And he chucked with that. He saw the puck. He was happy with that. Yes. Let's see if he goes and marks it up on the board. Kia ora, how's it going? Scotty Bamford here, host of the new show called Rural New Zealand where we go check out cool stuff like this out in the wilderness. So be sure to tune in, 7.30 Fridays. This is James. He's renting out his property through First Avenue. And this is also James. He's using someone else. With First Avenue, James has an action plan tailor-made to his needs. The team is always available to make sure everything is running smoothly. First Avenue are about finding the right people for your property. They know the secret is to keep both tenants and homeowners happy. They understand they're dealing with your most important asset. Don't be like that, James. First Avenue Property, where you come first. If you're a farmer or farm manager, their water management is one of your top priorities. Bowden Environmental take the stress and hassle out of the resource consent process by liaising between farm management and ECAN leave you more time for doing what you do best, specialising in all types of resource management, including consents, aquifer testing, farm environment plans, effluent management and advocacy. Bowden Environmental have the tools and experience to get the job done. Guess what? What? I'm pregnant. You poor thing. Compression socks. Let's go. A new baby on the way means your body goes through some big changes. 
Wearing compression socks protects your precious leg veins from being damaged as early as the first four weeks of pregnancy. Our qualified staff can make the process a breeze. Don't wait until the damage has been done. Call for an appointment today at Stay Well Pharmacy. Stay Well Pharmacy. Live well, stay well. Take a break showcases some of the best that the South Island has to offer. From fun-filled adventures, great places to eat and stay, and of course beautiful scenic landscapes. Take a break, don't miss it. Frame four, Simon Singleton. He's down by one, the boy from Queenstown. And he, oh, I thought the red was in there. Yet again, another yep. break with nothing down. The table is open. Fascinating. And the balls are in a cluster on the right-hand side there. This is not going to be another quick game, I don't think. Um, not a lot to work with there, no, is there? No. See the pocket yellow? Yeah, I think so. And then come back in on the other side. Yep. And work your way down the table, I suppose. Here we go. He's playing it, I'm not. Yellow claims. Yellow play. 2 1 it is. Canterbury Boy ahead. Big stakes. Plenty to concentrate on. When he walks around like that, he's looking to see what sort of shot he's going to get for the next after time. This, yeah. That's where the chest factor comes in. Yeah. He's not happy. Well, he didn't get it, did he? Yeah, he went like that. It was because he wanted the white to roll further. To Towards have that the yellow. Yellow down the down. cushion. Yes. Yeah. It's still on, but. Um, cut up the top? Well, he didn't. The way he did that with his cue, I, yeah. I think he was happy, so I, I think he just meant to roll it further. How'd you got this? Not to these boys. Not, not to Steve Dean. And when the crowd claps, these are the guys who know the game inside out. Mm. So yes, they're not mugs watching it. No. They appreciate talent. Mm. So that cluster we're talking about yeah. is about to be well, moved a bit. I think he's trying to work out how to do it. Yes. I think the middle, yellow, the one on the outside, and then hit the inside one. Well, red's there. Very animated crowd here at Wollstone Club. They know they've seen the creme de la creme out here. It's going up the oh, table. Good. Slightly different there, John. Thanks for pointing that out, Peter. Works his way back. Right. So he wanted to get a better angle on this yellow so that his white can hit the other yellow. Try and spring it out of yep, the cushion. Yep, yep. You've got a little bit of a possibility that, that red might cause some danger because it's aiming at the corner pocket. Yeah, that red I'm watching. Exactly what you said, and he missed the yellow to boot. Yeah. Probably if he'd hit the yellow right, the red would have gone in. Possibly. Disappointed with that is Steve. Now, what's on here for Simon? You want to leave that right-hand bottom blocked, I think. Yes. And use it for position later on. It's no, he doesn't gain any think, much from it from getting it now. And if he goes up the top, he's playing away from the yellow. Yes. So he might be looking at the middle red, then the one down the cushion. Yeah, just follow it on. Yeah. Which he's done. Get rid of the one on the cushion. They're always a bit awkward. Not on these on cue tables, though, John. It's true as. They are very true, but they're very tight pockets, too. It's not like we've got specially made tables for TV so it looks no, easy. No, 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 it's not. We've seen some real yeah. difficult frames, which is testament to the table. Exactly. Right. 
He's got one right in the center at the bottom, yes, which so. is a bit of a pain for him. I think you'd be happy to see this one here go on. Straight down the table. Yep. Now, bottom left. Do you take the easy one or the... the bottom left. Yep. He's heard me. <laughs> That's what happens with listening to Peter. That's right. Don't yeah. follow your crew. <laughs> follow your mind. What yes. happens now? Then, yeah, Steve, gets, Steve gets two shots. Two shots. Yeah. That's where the wheel, two shot wheel comes in. It's because of the, when you're fouled, you get two shots. So do you want to set one up and then nail it? Or? Well, generally I'd say that, but these guys are good enough. I'd say he, I would play the red near the cushion yeah. slowly towards the pocket. Hopefully it would go in, but if it didn't, uh, it would stay there from the next shot. But. Although if the white stays on the left side, yep. it's got a bit of trouble with the yellow trying to get it in that pocket on the bottom right. Yep. But then there's a reason I'm sitting up here and not down there. That's but. right. Well, you would not do a 10,000. You don't need it. Here we go. Gets two shots, remember. Okay, so that's not the end of the world because he's got the... No, then he might be able to come back up. He would have liked to get it. I think you always want to. Yes. Well, it still gives you an extra shot for the... Yeah. Later. So we will, I would imagine you just stop it, the other yellow back into the middle and the black in the middle. It's very easy to save from up here. I was going to say, there's not much point in playing it, it's so easy. <laughs> here we go. Just to get it stitched yep. into the lead. But even the fact that that moved back, like, two inches, just to give them a better shot on that yellow in the middle. There's two ways here. You can, yeah, you can either take either pocket yeah. after the yellow. Yeah. Ooh. Man, only danger here is this white hitting that yes, red. Yes, he made it yeah. a bit hard. He had a little bit more angle yeah. than he'd have liked. So he doesn't want this white anywhere near that red. He's going to stop this, this white. He's going to screw it to hit the side cushion. Oh. Yes! He extends his lead to three. 3-1. Three, Steve Denton from Canterbury over Simon Singleton from Otago. Very good tight frame, that one. Frame six, and it's in the hands of Steve Denton. Will we get one down? One, two, three, four, five, we're in frame six. Three, one, four, no, you're right. Right, right, I right. need right. just keeping him honest, that's The all. table is open. Frame five, and once again, another went down. Yes. Oh, look where the white finished. I think we're looking at reds. Yeah. Mainly because of that back up one down the end there. 3 1 Steve Denton leads. They don't like taking an easy shot like that red down there no. if they can help it because that's good for getting position later on. Plus the fact that it's blocking the pocket. Red flamed. So he's on reds and still has that one there. So yeah, he can come down to the bottom right. All to do with manipulating that white around the table to get in the right spot. Blimmin' awkward too for a singleton on, uh, for uh, Denton on the yellow too if he gets a go. It's a fair old group of them there. Let's just tighten it up a bit. You might be lucky and see that red in that corner that he just went in. I'm not sure. If he can, he's looking good because the yellows are in the cluster, not not the reds. So yeah. That's what I say, it's hard now for Denton to put them in there. Yes. Just working it out. Yes, he's got the red up the top if he needs it. Yeah, that other red can't have been on. You might be needing it now, unless you, right. unless you can get through and cut this red in. Oh, that's no. fine. Sure he's, he's looking. Yes, I think he can. You reckon? Yep, I think he's cutting this red into the corner pocket. Gee, that 
is tight. Sometimes when a yellow is like that is blocking it, it actually makes you cut it fine. Because you know you have to miss a yellow, and that's what he well does. Well done. Well read there too, John Murray. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's great. He'll be screwing the white ball down to the right-hand side this time to get it back down here and then he's got the red on the cushion or the red in the middle. So where, he is, where his Q-tip is, he'll be trying to screw the white down to here somewhere. I'm saying here somewhere and yep. people out there can't no. see where I'm pointing. No, down the bottom. Why don't you have one of those pointer things? Oh, right. Hang on. Okay, so had it come further, he might have been able to get the red in the middle, but at least well, now he can still... The cushion. Yeah, he'll get the one on the cushion. And potentially take the yellow out. Yes. Yep. It's a bit easier for him. Yeah. Now the black is going to be interesting. Yes, sir. Unless he can drive the white into it. Yeah, I don't see how he can do that at this stage. But no, he wouldn't want to hit it too hard. No. And he doesn't want to snook himself on the black either. If he gets this red, he's still got to be able to see the black. So he may... The red is on in the middle, but he may consider putting the red in at the far corner so that the white goes in and hits the yellows and the black. On the way back down. Yeah, but it's a bit risky, so... Interesting. What intrigues you about the game? Yes, exactly. What does a Queenstown laughter do? Yes, he did. He took the took the gamble, and as you see, he cleared the black and yeah. would have had a shot on it. But unfortunately, the the first rule is you've got to get the ball that you're you're aiming at. Another life for Steve Denton. Yes, and, and advantage Steve too. Yeah. I think it's three one point. up he is, and that just may have opened the door for him here in round five. of course and Paul we haven't seen one today no, so far. because their positioning is so good mm. yeah um, they don't tend to leave it where the white's way down the end from they make the white land in a the position they don't need it snook up yes he won't be happy but even if he did snook with him he put another yellow in front of his yes. last one, so he actually made it hard for himself. But if this fellow misses the, uh, this fellow, <laughs> Simon misses the uh, red here, and Steve gets two shots, his first shot will probably be to hit that most yeah, yeah, pretty much. Depending on where the yellow, uh, the white one is. Okay, across the table, looking for the red. Now this is interesting, the angle doesn't look that good. And you see on the jaw there, it curves around the, the cushion. Yes. If you hit that, it comes off on a different angle, and I think you might be trying to do that. Oh no, he hit it before. Is he going to get it? He got yes, it. Good shot. Well played. And the good thing about coming off the back cushion is there was a chance that he could roll up behind the red and actually snook a Yeah, Steve, Re return so. the fire. Yeah, exactly. But these guys don't think the other guy's playing dirty. No. You know, that, that's just the rules. And it's they, only 10 grand. <laughs> well, it's a five grand difference. Yeah. Trying to get that sneaker again, is he? Oh, oh, oh. oh two shots. Yeah. Went against him. Yeah. Now, opens the floodgate now for Simon Singleton. Yeah. Get your felt pen out. It's 3-2. You going to write it down? Yep. OK, mate. Nothing better than a confident comments, man. Isn't it? <laughs> hey? Don't let me down, Steve. <laughs> oh, that's what I should say. Oh, he got it. That wasn't all that convincing. No, he wasn't. That, and funny thing is, he just about would have snooked himself if that had that's stayed right. there. So, uh, yeah. Three, two, and Singleton yeah, to break. So Simon Singleton clawed one back in that last frame. Three, two, it is, and Singleton to break. Must get one down the minute. He, sure. he did. He got one. Oh, he did. Yep. And remember, it was on the back of a mistake by Steve. And yes, it was. We haven't seen a lot of mistakes no. in any game today. So Steve will be spewing about that. But when you do make one, it can come back and bite you, can't it? And it generally does. These guys are so good. You give them two shots. What do you go for here? 
He got a red in, didn't he? So, oh, did he? Uh, yeah, All right. on the break. But that doesn't mean he has to stay on. No, red claimed. I think he'll stay on red, though, because that red in the middle looks like the easiest shot there. I think the upset red. Go across the table, centre pot. Yep. over those. I think Simon's a player that tends to do more with the white ball than speed. So he's not, Tom's not afraid to get that white ball flying around the table a wee bit, a bit harder. I don't think he wanted the red there though. No, I, you know, I saw you screw your face mm. up and yeah, fair enough, I don't think he'd be that happy with that. It was actually akin to the shot he played in the first frame where he yeah. just absolute Everyone's looking, thinking, oh, I'm thinking what that's all about. So, Steve Denton now surveys the table. He's on yellow. And a three-way line up there. This white ball is going to do a bit, make a bit of damage. Nice yeah. shot. Works himself into a position. See, all you can do is get the white to go and, and, and cause a bit of... You know, trouble like that without support, building it. without knowing where it's going to land. He also knocked another yellow next to the red and the black. Mm. He didn't want that to happen, but you take your you take your chances. A lot of noise going on in here too, isn't it? Yes. You don't get that in pot black. It's deathly yeah. silent. And having the music, it's, oh, it, it's just relaxing. The yeah. And Barry, the referee, said early on in the whole tournament that, you know, you've just got to accept the fact that he's going to start talking on that microphone because you've got to announce things. Mm. The players can't be too precious is what I'm saying. Where's he going here? Hey, it looks like it's yellow onto yellow, into the middle pocket. That's risky. A plant, yes. You've got to get it dead right. He yeah, did. Yeah, that was a great shot. Leaves him in another one. So if he wins this frame, you look back at that shot was the risky shot and he, he, he took it. So. Yeah. Who knows, Simon's shot at the bottom here against the push with the red. Might well have been a down shot. Yes. Well, he wasn't happy with it. No. He had it. It's a fine line, isn't it? Yes. So here's a chance to put three away in the centre. It's, Steve's not happy with that either. Steve has a bit of a tell if he was playing poker. He keeps pushing his cue back when he's not happy with what he's just done. So. He's going to go the centre pocket or the bottom? I think the centre pocket's on, in which case he'd probably go for that. And maybe make the white hit the red near the yellow. Yep. To clear that yellow, so it'd be interesting. I'm not sure if he has the angle to do that. That's, what, I, that's mm. what I do, Pete. That's why you're not out there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no, he's got. Go. See, that same sort of bit harder. Yes, that's what he really wanted. Spring it. Yeah. There's a real cursed ball, that one. And it comes back down to the yeah. right corner. It's and he knocked that ball in when he moved the white in earlier on. So it's just unlucky. Yep. Could have been two inches that way. He might come back with a bit of a hurry. Well, he Missed tried. Everything. And he snooked himself. Yep. So what he'll be doing now is off the cushions back know. onto the yellow. But he's now concerned with, with setting Simon up. Correct. Because when he does come off the cushion and back and hit the yellow, the red that's touching the arrow is going to move out. And if that's out in the open, Simon's got a pretty good yeah, table. three reds waiting up the top of the table. Yes. So all I, clear of the cushions. I think he'd be trying to hit this so exactly that the white just touches the yellow and sits. Okay, yeah, gives so, it enough. Yeah. Delicate, delicate shot. That's pretty Not good. Bad. It still actually cleared the red for Simon. Left Simon on and the yes. red down here. So unfortunately, even though it was a very good shot. No, he cost him. Yeah, I think so. Just a reminder, 3-2 to Denton from Canterbury against Singleton from Otago. Race to nine. If I was a gambling man, I'd say this is all over now. Yeah. 
turn into a carrot bit again. Here he goes. The rafter. This will be interesting whether he takes the one on the yeah, cushion down here up or the yeah. And he's got to get the one on the cushion at some stage, so might be his best chance. Yeah. And if he takes the red in the middle, it clears the yellow for Steve. So he's probably quite happy at Steve at the moment. See so if he'd missed that, that was a snooker. Yep. So that's why he left that red for later. But now he's in this position, I think he'll clean up. One, two, three. Yep. yep. Putting some thought into this. That's why that red near the yellow is going to be the last red he plays, possibly. Yep. How's he going to work this? He's going to screw the white ball back, I think, depending on the angle. I'm pretty sure he will. And if the if the white's on, it's hard to explain. He's, yeah, he's looking at coming on this side, I think. Which is the left hand side. Yep. Had it been straighter, he would have come straight back. But because there's a slight angle, we're going left. Uh oh, might be too close. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, you can see enough of the red. Yeah, just a little screw back. Edge it towards, leave the white behind the black. That's it. I think it's going to be all tied up at the foul house. Yes, please. Frank. Three plays, three, and the race to nine. Eyes East, a series about the recovery of Christchurch's eastern flatland suburbs that were so severely hit by the earthquakes of 2010-2011. Tune in CTV's 8.30 Thursday. OK, Mike's boss is coming around tonight. It's time to pull out all the stops. This roasted pork with pumpkin puree looks good. What will I need from Raywood Fresh? I can grab a generous cut of pork from the butchery. Fresh local vegetables. I can get all my spices from the grocery essentials section, as well as a nice relish. Which leads me to the starter. A selection of New Zealand cheeses, besides some freshly baked bread. Ah, the way shopping should be. Hassle free and healthy. Don't get caught out. With the Super Mini Booster, the power is in your hands. As the smallest power pack in its class, the Super Mini Booster will get you back on track in no time. Trusted by leading professionals, the Super Mini Booster has all the power you need. Super Mini Booster, the power is in your hands. Oh honey, remember our cruise? The ship was huge. There was an outdoor pool. A mini golf with a lovely couple. A full gym. Not that you ever used it. Look at that gorgeous food. And the fantastic dining hall and nightlife. All thanks to our lovely cruise master Mary at Just Cruising. 0800 500 550. Is right here on CTV. Tune in every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. for an exciting range of fantastic kids programming. Join in with all the fun Saturday mornings from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. on CTV. Break seven and. 
clean sleep. Table is open. Yep, table is open. So three apiece of the year for the race to nine to be crowned the champion in the Devon Construction Eight Ball Super Bowl New Zealand Championships for 2015. One more each and they'll be even, John. You got it. I'm not talking to you. You called me in now a minute ago. Well, the whole upstairs here said, gosh, that was good judgment, Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right oh. Well, I think he's going to go for the yellow feet. So... Yeah, they look quite nice. Yeah. And just to prove us wrong, to prove I'm not a no, we're going to go for red. Don't change your mind, Simon. Good boy. The no all said you weren't going to do that. Mind you, he could have looked to regret it. <laughs> Went a bit far for him, yeah, too, I really. think so. And yeah. the yellows are actually quite good for Lovely. Uh, Steve if, if he gets a lick of it. goes wrong, yeah. So uh, you only get one chance, so you make the decision and you've got to stick with it. Down the side here, bottom left. Nicely judged. Come back to the centre. Simon wins here, be the first time he's been in front. Correct. And of course, if you remember the uh, semi final, Steve got jammed on eight. Yes. For about four ends. So there's no certainty in the sport. Run along the cush. To knock yeah. them, doesn't he? Yeah. Knock those yellows. So, <clears throat> oh, we hadn't seen that. Oh, they then we back where they were virtually. He cleared the yeah, He's got enough, him. though, yeah. yeah. Good enough for him. I wouldn't want to let Steve back on the table, though. Maybe look at his chops to have a crack at it. That's how final this game can be. One mistake, you open the door. I don't think that's going to happen. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Well, that comes into it now. That black look like it's on in the middle over there, Peter. Depends where the white finishes. Mm. You don't want to get caught up with the yellows. for the pin to write down a frame here yeah. to the rafter from Queenstown. Look at an Eddie. Four plays three and to clearance. the race to nine. Frame eight, Simon to break. For the first time in this match, Simon Singleton from Otago has the lead. 4-3 over Cantabrian Steve Denton. And he gets the break. Thing down. Table is open. Red looks quite good, but I just don't know. He's probably tipped with the yellow in the centre. Yeah, the yellow in the centre is mm. the easiest one, but if he can get a red, I think he'd like them. I don't think he can wing it up to the top right. That's a decision you have to make. You take the easy shot just to continue on the table, or take a tough shot to give you a better chance later on. So they are certainly better spread the red. Yes. There isn't any later on in a lot of these games. However, yellow's the call. Yellow claimed. As you can see, he's looking ahead from this pocket. Where to from here? Yes, I think Probably like down towards the right bottom, I think. Yeah, I think the yellow in the middle and then run the one along the cushion. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, so basically he saw that yellow on the cushion earlier on in the frame and thought, I have to get over there at some stage. Gotta get back out of that. 
too. Bruce. Where's he off to here? Centre? No, I think that one Straight that's up. nearest to the white ball might be on in the corner. Straight up the top. Yes. And if he gets that, then the other three are in a reasonably good position to put in the centre. So He's done very well because they weren't a very no. good cluster of balls at all. Exactly. Hello. He's worked his way through this. Had to think it out. Yes, I think. We haven't heard Barry say 30 seconds for a while. No. He might be saying to the visitor from Otago. <laughs> No, he's going for the middle pocket instead. Yes. Nice. Back across. He's not happy with the yellow near the black. No. That's one causing him more problems. I don't know how he's going to get to it just yet. Yes. Well. He's got to go centre pocket surely and then down. Then where does he finish? Yeah. He may go centre pocket and use the white ball to do something with this yellow near the black. Just depends on the slight angle difference. Can't play it too forcefully either. So, sort of tell by where he's putting the cue. See how he's got it down the bottom? So he's going to make the white ball come back. And that's how you make the ball come back by putting, hitting the object ball, uh, the white ball at the bottom. <laughs> Just run a wee bit further than you wanted yes, on the cushion. Yeah. He wasn't 100% happy even before that shot. No. Yeah. Yeah. This just takes one really good shot and this could be it now. It's a difficult shot. Not to oh, Denton, it isn't. No. He runs it up now. That's why he's here. Down he'll come. Bottom right. If he can get that yellow in there, he's going to stop the black to have the black on the corner. But if he screws the white back too far, he might snooker himself yep. on the red. So it's, it's all to do with There's a lot of traffic there. Yep. Class shot. Class frame yep. this one. Exactly. Well, that was a frame. And clearance. Four, Four apiece. Clear. And once you all. Short break, Total. gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Your break. Away we go. Break number nine. Four apiece. Otago. Simon Singleton, Canterbury, Steve Denton. You cannot separate this pair at the moment. John Barry, it's still hard to put money anywhere, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's Yellow so down. I, I kind of like the look of Steve. I think based on the fact that Simon plays at the odd risky shot, just a wee bit more. But you'd take yellow here, surely, wouldn't you? Yes. You heard oh, the two yellows near the middle a wee bit hard, but I think he's going to. Yes, he is. Um, Yellow clean, thank you. You may have heard Barry before mention that both of these players won all of the matches of Super League in their own province, and we have a knockout on finals day, and they both won their individual knockouts as well, and it's four all, so you couldn't get two <laughs> players any more even than they, these two are at the moment. The best two have come to the top. Yes. That's for sure. And they're playing that way too, as Paul obviously reflects. Steve Denton drew first blood in the first frame. Back came uh, Steve uh, Simon Stinger from oh, that was great, great shot. That was a great shot. Just to set the yellow up in the middle. Good end result. I can see him clearing these. Oh. You've been wrong in the past. He doesn't strike twice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're not in great position for the red either if uh, Simon does get a bit of a crack at it. Yes, exactly. And it's all on the break.
fascinating contest. Four frames each. First to nine. Congratulations to the organisers. They put on a splendid event. 64 at the top are here, chasing the one spot. Six, Four six. all, we can't tell yet. No, that's correct. Here we go. Steve Deaton. Stop the white straight away. Down the table, I presume, will come across. I think he wanted a better angle he on the yellow. To go up into the top right, the uh, top left. So he's got to come down bottom right. Work the white round. Doesn't want to get jammed behind or anything. Okay. No, he oh, he missed it. Now, the gloves are off. He's disappointed with that. Yes. Simon Singleton must take the advantage here. Yep. Shaking his head to push through the queue after the shot. He's been given a lifeline, the boy from Otago. Yes. Can he cash it? You could say he had a raft of experience. Well done. He must dominate this frame now. Send a pocket and hit up the table. Yes, because the whites down this end the, will naturally go towards those three mm. balls at the other end. He's got to get up there at some stage. Yeah, so I think he'll be doing it now. Only two yellows left, remember, but that really doesn't count for a lot because it creates space. Just to make a lie out of us, yeah, he decides, decides to, to come down. Yeah. Doesn't he realise he had credibilities on the line? <laughs> No. Oh. I think winnings at all is here focusing on at the moment. Nice cut. Oh, he didn't need to knock the yellow really. No, it didn't help. Block that other red. But... These guys are so good, they'll work the white around to give them the, to clear it somehow. And it's not so bad for Simon that if he misses, it is making it difficult for Steve as well. I want to sink these two up here though first. Yep. Here's his chance. Oh, oh no. But, Got a bit fat. But not too bad because the other one yellow is blocked by the black. And you can only hit the right hand side of the yellow that's sticking out. Which is away from the pocket. Yes, and if he does that, it clears his red. So, yeah, Simon won't be too unhappy with that at all. Yeah, he may have just had a wee swing of luck as well. I'd loathe to say that he actually went for that. No. But, um, he aimed to sink it. He'll probably watch this recording and say he did go for it. Steve, 30 seconds, thank you Steve. Steve doesn't want to move that yellow at all. He's, he's thinking of getting out of that difficult snooker. He's under the clock. Yeah, because he knows if he hits that yellow, it gives the red. So he's going for the other yellow. It's a pretty gutsy knock. Especially with the black right next to it. Here he goes. Down the table. Struck yeah. the black. Oh. Foul two shots. What I was about to say, if the black goes in there, it's loss of frame. Correct. So, he diced with death. Oh, yes. And he's given Simon two shots, and he's got one red covered by the yellow. So that's what's... Um, Would he try and take that out? Oh, he might leave it. No. That makes it hard for uh, Steve when he comes back. You know, I, I don't think he wants Steve to come back. Right. So... Um, just got to watch the white ball. He's going to get Steve to yeah. come back. No, he, he gets two oh, shots. Oh, two shots, of yeah. course, yes. And what he did there was he had the white ball knock the yellow, so yes. it knocked his red out. Yep. So he, I would Play imagine. Play one onto the other. Yes. And Up the top right-hand corner. So. And then come across the bush. As long as he's left the room. Yeah, can he get beside the yellow? 
camping. Hard to tell with the expression on the guys' faces. Yeah, we'll have another look. Look at that black tantalizer lean down on the bottom right. Yes, it so. could so easy have been a frame to Singleton. What he did before is just looked at that red to get an angle so the he pops this red, the white rolls down so he get the red in the middle. He wanted to give himself a bit of an angle and he's done that. He's just working at how far down the table the white needs to roll. So he'll be he's still going to sink that red up the top of the yellow. It's yes. closer here than it probably is. Yes. But... Oh. He brushed it. Yes. Well, more dramas. For all, does that do it to you? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, maybe the $5,000 difference in prize oh, money. No, they just want the scalp. It was always a narrow fit. Yes. Steve Denton. It's his if he wants it. Whether that yellow can be cut inside the red. He's going to try it, I think. No. He's not sure yet. I think he might. Take it across. All right, it's Josie. 30 seconds, thank you, Steve. Oh. These shots break me nervous. I'm not double. as good as he is. Disastrous. Yes. Was very unlucky because he actually accomplished what he wanted was, to, I believe, to get rid of the red over the middle pocket, possibly sneak the yellow inside it. Um, he was very unlucky. He was very lucky not to have that red to go in. So Simon second ball's not in the right spot. No. That's. He may. You were talking about billiards before. He may hit the red near the yellow and make the white hit the yes. other red in. The one on the court, on yeah. the cusp. Yeah, and that's a cannon in billiards. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. there's your third game coming in right there. That's what makes this game so fascinating. Yes. Look at the black, of course, down bottom right. Yeah. Or if that, that second red can move inside the other on. yellow, he might just tap this red and then hit that red. Oh, too much theory, John. Let's just relax and watch it. Take it, Aggie. Right. He's got the cue in his hand. Here's single. Where's this fight coming? Okay. That was unlucky. He didn't get the angle he wanted. No, he did not. He's sneaking himself. I don't see. So I believe what he'll be trying to Table do now is coming off this cushion right, and the, tapping the, the red. When yep. you point, nobody knows at home. On the left-hand cushion, on the side, up to the top. Should have given me a pointer. I'm giving you a few pointers. <laughs> there you go. What's he going to hit? Yes, hit that's it. That well was shot. Good shot. Well done. Played it well. The pace was exact. Yes. They're not touching. Yeah. This is one heck of a tough frame here. Yeah, this is this is a good good frame, really. Especially with the black over the hole. That's right. right. You just can't go swish out, can you? No. That was a great shot of Steve. Yeah. All the pressure pressures, back on yeah, Singleton. All on the time. Don't go in the middle. He's got the red out if he gets another shot. Yes. Yep. When the players tap the table like um, Steve, that's their, their applause. They're saying, well done. Interesting situation here if he cuts the red. from a pen. I think so. Otago, take the lead again, I'm sure. Don't truck and trailer it, son. And he does it. He 
takes the lead back. Five, four. It is in the race to nine here at the Wollston Club. Simon doesn't seem to be getting much luck. The table break. is open. So a quick break taken. We're at uh, frame number 10. The race to win by nine, uh, first to nine, and it's 5-4 to Simon Singleton against Steve Denton. The break's been made. Simon didn't have much luck with that break, no. Peter. <clears throat> he did not. But once again, we see a break without a colour going down. Mm -hmm. So the call now goes to Steve Denton. He'd like red, I think. Yeah, but he's... he's got to arch over the top of the yellow. Right? Yeah, he's going to have to settle for the yellows. Yep. Yellow claims. Oh, it is. Steve Denton on yellow. Which are not a bad position. No, there's just a, those two near the black to split up at some stage. Tell you what, these guys must be feeling the fatigue a bit, must not they? They've played an awful lot of pool in the last three days. Yes, they have, and on their feet a lot too. Absolutely, and concentrating. You don't get to a final just by mistake. Mm. That's a right great up shot. Yes. That's what he wanted. Yeah, all five yellows are out in the middle of the table. The one near the red's a bit of an issue, but that was a very good shot. Don't know which one's actually on, though. It's going mm. to work yet. The one closest to the white's a bit of a pain. Yeah, I think he's going to go for that one into the middle of his line up now. Well, it's easier than the one on the right hand side. Yes. Overshot it a bit. Yep. Now, we like the Reds. Does Simon Singleton like them? I think he's going to come back and play the red on the bottom cushion to the left hand side. This is a true final, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you. Tight as a drum. One, one, two, one, two, three, 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 four, three, four, all, five, four. And we just saw a bit of strategy there, Peter, with Simon electing to Total play a snooker. snooker. You wouldn't believe you get a snooker at the stage of the game, would you, but mm. it's there. It's relatively easy for Steve to get out of, but that's not the issue. It's what he leaves. Yeah, it's just something just disturbed him there. Oh, it might be the ump. So you could argue that Simon isn't much better off after having played that snooker early on. He's got to try and run over to the bottom left, does he? Yes. Mind you, I said that he about the... Not a lot left. I said that about the last one, and he didn't, so... Oh, that's a good shot. That's a great shot. Because that yellow was blocking Simon's other red. Yeah, he's and open he, now. Yeah, he potted the ball and cleared the pocket at the same time. That was a great shot. So we should clean this end of the table up. That's a good shot. Good shot. It came right out well. Yep. 
now he's got to come after this one down the table. <clears throat> and there's a bit of traffic there yes, too. Yes, yeah, a bit of traffic to get mm. through. There's a few fat fellas who wouldn't be able to lean over like that. You're right. Yeah, that's well done. Left bottom. Good now with the getting position on the red on the other cushion. By yeah, oh, that's well done too, because he yes. come down and then the black. Yep. We might have our first two. Has there been a two-game lead in this match? No, nope. there hasn't. No. Nope. So quite a decisive break in the context of it. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Tidy. You can get the felt pen out. No, oh, mine's stolen just frame. Then. And clearance. <laughs> Mo is the most huggable, innocent creature on the face of the earth. He lives in a treehouse and loves going on adventures and meeting new friends. Join Mo and his friends on The Mo Show, Monday to Friday at 8am, right here on CTV. We asked ourselves, what statement sums up our company culture and sets us apart from others? Serving one another. It means we have respect for our customers, our workmates, our suppliers, and the communities in which we live and work. These are the things that matter to us. Serving one another is the foundation of our business. HEP Construction, the total infrastructure package. Health 2000 is New Zealand's largest natural health retailer. With over 70 stores throughout the country, you can be sure that there will be one near you. With many unique supplements built on nature's bounty, you can be sure that one of the knowledgeable staff will be able to find the right one for you. Or take one of our 15 minute hair follicle analysis tests available in many of our stores. Health 2000, where caring comes naturally. What to have for lunch? Nothing processed, that's for sure. Raywood Fresh is the place to go. What about burritos? The kids can choose their own main fillings. Black beans are nice with cream cheese too. Sauce, hmm, something new I think from the grocery essential section. I can teach Sam how to make guacamole too. And because it's the weekend, we can grab a coffee while we are there shopping. Ah, the way shopping should be, hassle free and healthy. Steve to break. Frame 11, 6 4. It is Steve Denton. I think, I don't know whether you agree or not, John, he needs to win this one. Yes, and that's not a good start. White in the pocket. Um, what happens now? Well, it's a wee bit different than if the white goes in during the game. Off the break, it's just it's just Simon's turn. He gets the ball behind the white line. Right. Okay. Uh, had that happened during the game, it's two, uh, two shots. Right. So now he just wants to pocket something. Yep, but he gets to move the white behind the line and uh, it's still a good advantage. Probably yellow looks exciting. No, it's pretty even really, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, pretty even. I think you're right, he's going for yellow. There's only the one down the bottom cushion here to, to worry really about. trouble him and maybe the, red, uh, the yellow by the black. Yellow claims. So... 
Did that open the door a bit? Did Steve it did might do. just open it up a bit too much? I think so. If he gets this yellow and screws back a little bit and then gets the yellow by the black, I think, ooh, I think um, Steve might be in a bit of trouble. And to be fair, 7-4 becomes a bit of a mountain, doesn't it? 6-4, yes. you can reach it. Yep. 7-4, not so easy. Good boy, he just pushed those reds away. That's right. So not only did he get something, he made it harder for yep. Steve if he gets a shot at the table. <laughs> Steve might like to, Simon might like to run this one down perhaps and then have a go at the one on the cush. Yep, and then come back out yeah, for the middle of the yep. road. Somewhere in the frame it would muck him up, I feel. Oh, he's gone this way, that's good. It's a bit scary now to get out of the middle. Yeah, this is a crucial shot, actually. This will define this this particular game, I think, Peter. I don't think he's got any other ball he's got an option with, is No, he? no. It's just, he's got to hit it hard enough to get the white back down right. there. And when you hit it hard on a tight angle like this, it can jaw. It could also take up some reds. Yep. Oh, well done. Well played, excellent yeah. shot. He, he took the risk to hit it hard and paid off. Excellent shot. Bang, bang. This should get him out a little bit too for the black. Yes. Bring down a little. I think so. Seven four. That suddenly becomes very difficult for Steve Denton. Oh, yes, it is. And that's, another, that's two eight ball clearances in a row. I think. Right. It is. Seven four on the way to nine. At this stage, wearing the favourites tag would be Simon Singleton from Otak. Seven four. It is to the boy from Otago. He's played pretty well in the last couple of frames. He's cleared the table on two occasions. Yellow went down. Yellow went down, but I think he might be looking at reds. Yes, I don't like that cluster around no, the black no. and yellow. He's got reds. some options there. Yep. He called red, so right. if he misses this red, it's open table. That's right. Yep. Which he did. Open table. Yes, so what are you going to go now, Steve? Table is open. You can choose a colour. I think you'd be keen on red, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. I don't think that yellow in the middle. The three there in the yeah. white. No. Simon will be annoyed with himself for that. Just may have just rushed it. Yep. Steve gets this, it's game on. Red claims. So it's red for Denton. You saw Simon, uh, sorry, you saw Steve standing on one foot and sitting on the edge of the table. Just to let you know, you must have one foot on the floor at all times. So. They can't mount the table and play a shot. So, Steve opted for the red. Sag one. <clears throat> A must win front at frame one feels. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, at 8 4, the chances of Steve getting five frames in, in, a, in a row, yeah, yeah, I think so. So, this could be the most crucial frame in the entire match. Yes. He's got two. And when you think about the money, possibly in his life. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And Steve will know that. And I don't think it'll add pressure, it'll just make him more determined. I mean, with the music and the noise of the crowd, you've got to block yourself off from everything. So it's an ability these guys have. Yes, that yellow is a real mess, isn't it, really? It's not ideal. See what happens. Lay one onto the other, is he? Yes. Oh. And he got he, it, but he didn't get a great result. He didn't want that. No, I think the red's still on in the middle, but it, the, 
And it's a, quite an acute angle. Yeah, it is. Wasn't what he wanted. No. I'm going to get clear of that and pick up the other one. Still potable in the centre. These are good players, remember. Very nice. does now come down tidy up. Mm -hmm. Steve Dennett fighting for his life here a wee bit. 7-4. 7-5 sounds a lot healthier. down and back down again yes <clears throat> i think the problem he's got here is once he gets the two reds should he do that it's getting a position on the black with the cluster of yellows there no, i don't think he's got a problem i think he's just going to run this down past the yellows or out, out to the left hand side of the yellows i don't see a major well read, Peter. <laughs> I reach for the pen, John. And he's come back like a true champion. Right. He's done 7-5. We're still alive here at the Wolfson Club, ladies and gentlemen. That is for sure. Needs one down from the break, probably. Ease the nerves a bit. Remember, he put the white down last time. He gets two yellows. But <laughs> how did anything else move? No. Um, it's not the friendliest break he wanted. Well, no. He's got a couple down, but. Usually you'd think it would be really great to be on yellows yeah. now, but I think even though he's got two yellows, he might be taking the reds. shot's tricky. Yep. <laughs> he might be taking the reds, which is a bit of an advantage to Simon. Yeah. He's thinking about it. He can claim the yellows and just play a safety shot now. Yellow claims? Yes. So. so where will he play this? One? I think he might be trying to stun it and roll the white behind the other yellow. All right. Well, that didn't go so good. I don't think Steve would be, I don't think Simon would be that keen to break him up just yet, would he? Um, He's got a couple of... Well, he's smelling blood. I mean, yeah. he's, you know, he's getting close to the finish line, so... Get Steve to panic. Yes. Oh! No, he, I think he was trying to play a safety yeah. shot and need the, white, uh, the red over the hole, but as you see from his face, he, he knows he messed up again. I say again, it's not like he's done no, it a hell of a lot. Not but, very uh, often. Yeah. Yes, we're at the trembly end, of course, aren't we? <laughs> Seven, five... Brain is working overtime at Denton. How can I? How can I get him out of this? Here we go. Where's he off to with this one? He's going to put the yellows up. I think he was also trying to put the red on the cushion. a bit more thought into this frame. A lot more thought. That successfully got rid of the bottom left at the moment anyway. Yep, that's uh, his insurance shot. Yep. Pressure back on Steve yep. Denton Canterbury. Real cat and mouse frame this a, one. It's an advantage. Advantage Simon at the moment. Yep. Oh, just about changed his mind. Nearly a gin shot. <laughs> he stands up again. He 
dug himself in a trouble and nearly got away oh. with it. Nearly got away with it. But he cleared his yellow, he so... He dug himself out of trouble. Yep. Unfortunately, it also gives Simon a couple of easy shots. Yes, I think Simon will start attacking now. And uh, he's played a couple of safety shots yep. this frame, but I think now's the time to... Perhaps picked up the spoils. Yep. Take the one out on the wing. I think the red down to the end and it hit the balls. To... Mm. That's two holes blocked. Yes, but you have, if you see the table now, the yellows are actually quite... Yep. Uh, Not bad. Yes. That centre will get a bit of a hiding. Yeah, no, I thought someone would take one of these two reds in the corner. Who knows, he may look back and regret it. This yellow onto that yellow, roll the white around the back and get the be on the left hand side of the table so you can get the other yellow, I think. And two canny players are That's it. Has he come around enough? Remember I was saying before, often when you get two shots, it's not actually a good thing? Yeah. He just got two balls in and yeah. would, would much rather the yellow still be over Correct. the pocket. Can he get to the centre? I think what his danger here is if he tries to cut this yellow closest to the end of the table, the bottom the right. Yes, the white ball may hit the red. It will do. And if that happens, he can't really control where it's going to land so much. It nuts the black out, so. Doesn't help him on that yellow red. No, really. but. I mean, he's still on the table. He's Absolutely. Got the, he's got the cue in his hand. Top right? Uh, yep, yeah, top right. Uh, and it would be a very hard shot, but if he got that, he may be able to get on the black. Bring the white across the yes. left. With the danger of it not going in the left-hand side. So this is a this is a big shot. Especially so when you see the reds. Beautifully positioned, yeah. really. It's clean-up time if he misses this. I think so. That I think you'll be getting a felt pen out one way or another. 8-5. Yeah. Match point it would be to the man from Queenstown. But your destiny's in your hands, Stephen Denton. Shot. Yes, I know. It was a great pot, but a bit unlucky with the pistol. Yeah. I think if he can get, oh. if there's enough room at the side of that red, I'm not sure he may be able to get the black in the bottom right hand side. Big call. Because you can't make a double. You, yeah. Big call. Place has gone quiet. They know the importance of this one shot for Stephen Denton. situation yeah. into account. 7-6 and a very relieved Steve did and he's still in this game. Cue in his hand, his break. 7-6 it is, red down. Just the one. Uh, two actually. You got two to <laughs> Yeah. Of course they move quick around that time. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. I didn't see it either but I just oh. counted it. <laughs> And the funny thing is, once again, he's got two reds, but the yellows are... Appear to be yes. a better prospect for him. I think so. But it is amazing, isn't it, that they seem to hit the ball exactly Hello, the same and yep. the results you get. So he's gone for yellow. The red are not a bad stick either, though, to be fair. Mm. Yellow claimed. Right, uh, Simon is on yellow. 7-6. Wonderful final here at the Wollstone Club. Devon Construction, eight ball, Super Bowl, New Zealand Championship. The final of 2015 could still go either way. You won't see any better pool than this. 
beat it anywhere in the country. Been outstanding. All day. I know it's a, a funny old saying, but you actually feel sorry for whoever comes second, don't you? Oh, definitely. And not in just this game, in some of the oh, games leading up, you know. Yeah. We can go back through the draw and see um, best of 21 matches that were lost 11-10. Yes. And you've got a feeling that somewhere in the middle of that, those matches there was a shot that could Much have gone shot. either way. Yep. yep. Touching yellow. Touching yellow means you can't make, that yellow can't move. Got one to play away from. Yes. Touch it. Turn of Steve Denton. One frame behind in the race for nine. He's only got one really can play, the one down the top right hand side. So. What else is with a flash camera if it annoys you let me know and I'll get them to stop. He stalks the table. It's not the shot, it's the next one. Oh. Well, I don't think that was planned. No, well, I don't know. He's got a fair yeah. row in front of him. Yeah, I think that was the idea, just yeah. to, to give Simon nothing on, really. Thrilled by this fixture and so they should be. Been a privilege to be here. Stack them and rack them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty amazing for Steve to get a white ball in amongst that so he can get the red out. So that's what he'll be trying to do. I don't think he'd go up and back. I don't think he'd want to do that. He hasn't got a heck of a lot to play for either, has he? No. Goodbye. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Yes. By the red. That's a beautiful shot. Total. It's a total <clears throat> snooker. So, Simon Singleton, you're going to be asked the question here. There's a lot down this end, but he's got to get there. Slams another one in. That red near the yellows is still causing Steve a lot of concern. So it should, it's a real long <laughs> jam there. You can almost smell the thought coming off the brain, can't you? <laughs> He's thinking it hard, long and hard. Got a ball to play, but that doesn't mean it's the ball he wants to play. We could be three games away from ten thousand dollars, Peter. Oh, you go on and on about the money. <laughs> Think of the prestige of saying you've won the Devon Construction Eight Ball Super Bowl New Zealand Championship. Oh, 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 oh! Probably always on. Oh, two shots. It's given away two and shots. Shot. This is the pocket that Simon needs to get to. Is the bottom right. 
Okay, this is that funny situation where it's a foul snooker. Because not only did Steve foul, he's part of the ball. He's got a position where Simon can't see two sides of a ball. So Simon can lift the white up. Take it up the top. Yep. Doesn't happen very often, but there was an example of it happening. Doesn't have to be in the D. It's anywhere right. behind that line right across the table. So that's a foul and a dropped ball. And he gets two shots. Yep. This would be crucial. He needs to sink one here. I said he needs to sink one here. <laughs> Are you from Matago, Peter? No! I'm just seeing the way he had two chances. <laughs> he, he did get the yellow in front of the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Oh, you're an it's just a matter of millimetres. He'd probably like the yellow just a little bit closer to the it's, pocket. You've lost your free ball and he's just still felt snooker. Is there any other free ball there? If you're, if you're still snooker. What he did there was using the white to knock the yellow a bit closer to the pocket, so it's back to advantage Simon. Yep. Even though nothing went down then, positionally, he's in pretty good shape. Whether Steve wants to disappear up the top and just uh, sink those three and then think about life. Get a 30 seconds pulled on him, right? No, he's going to get away with it. Got be careful where this white comes back to. I think he might have been trying to block that pocket. Yeah, you know, I think he might have been trying to get a snooker with the white behind the red. He did earlier on successfully. But um, yeah, Simon has to decide, is it now the time to clear these two? Go. Yep. We'll bring one down and block that pocket. Yeah. The left hand bottom. I definitely see a change in Simon's game at the moment. He's, he's playing a bit safer. He certainly is. He won't be happy with that, Peter. Not where he left the red. Yeah, exactly. Tremendous evening of uh, pool, no doubt about it. Real talent on display. That's the 30 second rule. <laughs> Christian, that was a very hard shot to play. They make it look so easy. They do. And the pace is so important, doesn't it? Yes. They just, it's like putting. They yeah. just seem to get the exactly. pace spot on. It's a white ball control. Yep. And with that light wide, it just rolls so fast. So we'll take it down and put it in. Take it down, take it down. And not a bad job. So we're taking turns at blocking the pocket. Yep. So something's got to give eventually. It is as tight as a drill. Just a reminder, seven, six on the race to nine. Crucially in this. Match point for Simon should he win this. All square, should Steve do it. It's been a great match. It almost deserves to be all square, but yep. if Simon does win it, you can't deny him either. So. Brought them back out again. Advantage Simon. <laughs> he doesn't have any block holes now. You can go up the table if you wanted to, Steve. But... I 
I think Steve needs, wants to force Simon to have to play one of these yellows over the pocket. Here we go. No. He thought about it. He knows just where this sits in the overall scheme of things. Yes. If he was down at the club playing for a pint of beer, he'd have a bit of a bash in that corner, I think. But not this isn't a pint of beer. No. Right. Where are you going, my man? 30 seconds, Steve. Thank you. 30 seconds, call on him too. He's against the clock. Here he goes. Anything could happen here. Fasten your seatbelts. Wow. Did very well. Exceptional, that. Very well. The risk he took there. That yellow is just could hanging on the edge. Yep. yep. Now, so I'm going to want to leave them there, I would think, but he's got to have another shot. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, we're talking about billiards again. He might hit the yellow in the middle of the table and make the white go over and hit those two reds, uh, two yellows. Well, I think you're getting carried away now, John. Well, if it comes off, you're going to say I'm a no-all again. <laughs> I'm calling it. You're you calling it. it. I am, sir. I might yell out and tell him, oh, no. No, so he bailed out. Yeah, that's what I'd have done. Yeah, mucked yourself up. Yeah, did too. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ideal scenario. <coughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what you like at home, but gee whiz, it's nerve-wracking here. <laughs> I thought I'd just come here for a leisurely commentary on a bit of a game of pool. <laughs> It is as tight as a drum. That is, isn't it? Who's going to crack first? Simon, Steve played the shot that it could have turned to tears, and he got away with it. Now Simon's turn. OK, the wee bit more open now. No Rooms are nothing. Yep. yep. No, no pockets are blocked. This is all on. Tempted to take the one by the yellow up into the yes. centre. Yes. Think that might be the way to go. Centre right pocket. Think that might get a bit of attention. Nope. He sees it a different way. Nope. He may not. Might have heard you. Yeah. That's knife edge stuff here, I tell you. Next time you go to your local pub and put your 50 cents in and have a game of pool, just think about how good you have to be. To when was the last time you went to a local pub, Peter? 50 cents ain't going to get you anything. I wouldn't have a clue, mate. What is it now? I think it might be $2. Oh. Let it go. Over a fraction more would have been interesting yeah, on that yeah. bottom right pocket. I think. I'm liking That's not the one he wants to sink, though, is no, it? No. It's the one on the left that's the pain for him. But he's got a chance here of, of clearing the table, so I think he's going to take it. Oh, that was a beautiful way. He stabbed it, didn't he? Yeah, beautiful. Right it back beautifully. He's not happy. It's come about an inch further back than he wanted. But it still looked nice from up here. Still have a go, wouldn't he? Yeah, it's just what the white ball does, because yes. he's got to get on that other yellow. It's a game of minds, isn't it? Look at that. Stop. That's a beautiful shot from where he was. That's why the... Can he play the angle on the yellow? Yes, he can. He's not too tight with the black. No, I think he'll be right. The white's going to travel a bit fast, but... This is a very important shot. This to go to match point for the young man from Otago. No. Yes, no, yes, no. no. Oh. Never got it. Oh, we live again. The can tabs are getting excited. Yep. This is silly. Oh, this is I, awesome. I could be home having a meal or something now. <laughs> I'm too nervous now. Here he goes. Yeah. Steve Denton, is it clean-up time? One feels it should be. 
Unfortunately, he doesn't have to attack the pocket where the yellow is. No, so. There's several ways he can do it. It's just the which percentages he likes. Ideally, he'd like to come back to the left and have a crack at the right centre, yeah. wouldn't he? That's ideally what he'd like, but it's yeah. pretty jolly tricky to pull that one. Yeah, it's just the... Cut, three, cut three, the one at the left centre. Two mil and the, the angle makes all the difference. Yeah. Then again, he just watch him where, where he puts the cue, he's going... Stop. Yeah, just stop it, so right in the middle. Why try anything fancy when you can get he's away with it? He's got to run yeah. past the black here with the white. Right? Yeah. yeah, he does. So you see he's hitting the white ball near the top? top. Yeah. That's a beautiful shot. Very nice. Right, isn't he? Yep. This yep. is very important. And the placement of the white is it crucial. Back down this end of the table so that black in the middle. Ten times are love on this. This takes it to seven apiece. We're going to be here until midnight. Can you get your felt pen out? Well, I'll have to get my blanket put on. Wild Spirits covers the biggest, most extreme sports events across the planet. From surfing to base jumping, snowboarding to motocross, this series will sure to have you on the edge of your seat. Wild Spirits, CTV. Honey! We have something for everyone. Oh honey, remember our cruise? The ship was huge. There was an outdoor pool. A mini golf with a lovely couple. A full gym. Not that you ever used it. Look at that gorgeous food. And the fantastic dining hall and nightlife. All thanks to our lovely cruise master Mary at Just Cruising. 0800 500 550. Shopping has never been easier. Join us on Let's Go Shopping as we showcase some local businesses and take a look at the great deals they have to offer. Let's Go Shopping. Join us weekdays at 11 a.m. Steve Debray, the Cantab. In the red and black, steps up. I think if I was playing, I would have made a deal with the other guy, but that's just me. <laughs> right oh, someone pull a hamstring and the other one break down. <laughs> right oh, this is it. This will really get the ascendancy. Needs something down one feels from the break. Mm. And he's denied. That yeah. has a. Yes, he's denied it. And red Able would be open. my colour of choice. And to be honest, that can be the difference between. Absolutely. You know, Red would be my colour of yeah. choice. One more roll, and he had it. Now, what Simon would like to do is play, it play another red other than that one. Yep, but leave he, it there. Yeah, but he has to get this red. All so. right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on my feet calling this game now. <laughs> As we look down into the bowels of the Wollstone Club. Has he chosen red? All South Island final. Ooh. Which is still too close to call. There you go. That could that, be a bad miss. That's the gamble you take, not taking the very okay, easy red. Right? You'll still get out of it, I think, at this stage. Yes. Seven frames each in the race to nine. Both players want the red, so. Because that yellow's covered at the. Well, top there's right. more yellows in the middle of the table, too, yep. isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Is there a gap? Can we get through this? Steve Denton. Oh, and it jaws itself! No. Is there any more drama to play out? <laughs> this is so open. This will be interesting because I'm not sure that Simon can see that red. Is he going to take a hard red now that would 
Well, he'd, he'd look out to the right hand corner, or he'd, wouldn't he, if he, if he took that? If, if he got this weed down the cushion that I think he might be taking, it's a big gamble. It's a hard shot. He's a young boy. Yes, of course. Aye, he'll gamble. <laughs> Where he leaves it if it doesn't drop. Yes, yeah, great great thing. Now that was a great shot. He yeah. took the took he the took opportunity. The yep. There's a red cover down there. He's not going to touch that until later on in the in this frame, I believe. Now, does he want to go to the centre? Yeah, I think so. So first blood. Simon single. just to work the balls around, I think, here. Bit unlucky just to come off that yellow. It was, yes. Through. However, it's another one down there. Now, Steve may see the fact that Simon's got a, a red on the cushion just past the middle pocket and think, well, I might get my yellow out near that red now because it's got to come out at some stage. Steve is on the yellow. Face that shows no emotion, just totally focused and concentrating. Yes. Very steely, disciplined player. Yes. Seven all. Why wouldn't you be? Whoops! And he just doesn't like something on the ball. Yeah. What happens? They might be a bit of chalk or something. Yeah. Barry's done there is he's put a marker to take the ball away and clean it and put the ball back. So if there's a bit of chalk on the ball it can affect the, the roll of the ball just like a, a golf divot can leave some dirt on a golf ball. Okay, we're happy here now. Stevie Denton. A pocket block. It's a game of cat and mouse around this table. I think that red might be on in the middle there. I think so. Yes, so. And if he played it right, he might have a the other one coming back yep. in the centre pot. Yes. What would we know? Not how we saw it, was it, John? Although I, I, I saw him potting that ball, but he missed it. Yeah. So. I thought he might have come this side, actually, oh, the okay. one red on the outside. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. The game is very much alive. Canterbury on the yellow. Otago on the red. I'm not sure who... Oh, that yellow must yeah, be on inside that. Yep. 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 Sneak through there. Okay, will he hit it hard and get position, or will he just tap it to block the pocket? Well, that answers that. What's he done for himself, though? He's a wee bit unlucky with the yellow coming yeah. back in. Yes, very unlucky. Yeah. Center on? I Maybe. think so, yeah. Maybe. It's not a hundy. Well, we'd love to be able to sneak that yellow in between the two reds. Yes, that's what he's sure doing. Sure, crossed his mind. And it? Ooh. Mm. Nearly did it. Not sure if that red's blocking. It was odd to have a go. Yes, yes. Somehow I think we've got to get to the top of the table if you're uh, Steve Singleton. There's a couple hovering over the centre, but mm. there's got to be above them. Whether he can go up yep. the top. See what he does with the top white ball. No. Well played. Is he out far enough? He may play one read onto this read down here and try and block the yellow or, or pot it. Yep, that's where he's looking. 
then rather than take the one on the outside, which is easy to pot in the middle, you take the one on the inside, so you're clearing, doing two things at once. He'll come down here looking for his own. Oh, no. That, I believe he... He got away with it. Yes. Only just. Steve Denton now is at the table. That's the gap he's looking for. Perfectly Very nice. Well done. <coughs> Still got that initial yellow at the very beginning of the game yeah. that's been down there, though. Still hard to call, isn't it? Yes. He'll play that gap again, one feels. It's going to be 8 7 in a minute to someone. I don't know about it in a minute. <laughs> Left it okay. Jammed up against the yellow. Yeah, it's all, all depends on whether the red can get inside the yellow. I don't think it can. No. Second one just mucked it up. It's a hard shot to play to the other corner as well. This is a very similar situation we had in the last frame, wasn't it? Yes. Someone had to have the, the go nads to have a go. Yes. Could be a situation where Simon's thinking, even if I give away two shots. Oh. There we go. Not nothing for his trouble. You see that? Keep an eye on the yellow yep. right up at the top yep. right corner. That is the buck bear for right. Steve. So every shot he's looking at, he's thinking, how am I going to get that right. out? I might be able to clear it off down the bottom here, but. Yep. He'd be tempted to give one away. No, I think he'll hit that yellow onto the other two yellows, then hit that one in, and then have one yellow left to try and get the white all the way down. But the watch will come out in a minute. Okay, he's decided he's that... Oh, no, he bailed out, I'm sure. Is he? No, he's gone back to... Well, he's thinking, I've got that pocket covered. I'm going to get those yellows eventually. I'll get this this yellow out, out right line. now. Yep. yep. And may even hit it around the table to try and get over near that corner. That's what he's done. And what a shot! That was a great shot. Benham. Fortune favours the brave. Exactly. The thing is, he can't miss now because he's actually freed it up a wee bit for yes. a, a Simon. So One miss here could be very interesting. Yes. I don't boy, know, oh boy. And I don't know that he's got a shot on. Um, unless that yellow can go between the two reds and hit his other yellow. He's clawing and he's fighting for every shot. This he is certainly cool. is. What an outstanding frame this is. Does he have to go up the table now or can he? Well, I don't think you get enough of that, you know? Not from our camera. No, anyway. no. Okay. He's going to play the, the one up, up the table and come back. with his white ball. Magically get on that other yellow. Hopefully come back. I say magically because I'm not sure how he's going to do it with the reds there. Oh no, decided on. Lovely, delicate touch. Yes. I think he can get enough of the yellow. I think so, and I think he'll have enough side on the white ball to come round the red so he can get the black in the middle. I believe. But looking at it, he's aiming at the bottom. God love you, he's going to use the rest. We've waited all day to see one. <laughs> there he is. Yes, they do have a rest in this game. Not a rest play. That was a good shot. He's positioned himself. Oh, just up against I know. the push. It's not easy. No. It's, well, it's made it harder. It, 
not such a it's problem to these shot, guys. No, yeah. Yeah. This is this near doomed, I think. Simon Singleton from Otago, 8-7. Thank you, frame 16, Simon's a break. There it is in front of you, seven frames to eight. Canterbury take the advantage here, but Simon gets to break. And again, nothing down. That was a bit unlucky. It's scary how often that happens. Yeah, he needed a ball then. He did. 8-7, the call's going round of Canterbury. They're backing the local lad here. The sad thing about this is that there has to be a winner. Yes. Pick any colour you like, son, as long as you get it in the hole. Or red. Red planes. Well, they look pretty good, too. They do. Um, feeling a bit sorry for Simon at the moment. Like you say, he doesn't deserve to be no. a loser. Two ex excellent players. Yes. Battling as though their lives depended on it. If you look at all the things that Simon's won this year already, yep. what a stellar season he's having. <laughs> but it's no disgrace to lose to, lose to Steve Denton if that's in fact what happens. It'd be nice to be eight all. Oh, terrific. Yep. Yeah, that's what we need. Then have a tiebreaker of 12 or something. You know. <laughs> he gets that one. Oh, sorry, but it, it's looking pretty bad for. Yeah. Simon. Simon might just about be able to put the cue in the rack shortly. Still that same calm approach to the table by Denton. Not flustered. The thing is, Peter, you got to know Steve. If he was playing down at the club just to practice game, he'd be just the same. Yeah. He doesn't really change. Yeah. They Good play the table. They don't, they don't play the opposition, they play the table. And a lot of us, I include myself, play the opposition. You think you're up against a Steve Dent and you play different than if you're up against a... a John Berry. Well, <laughs> they're very much the same, really. <laughs> OK, so is this the final act? In the Devon Construction 8-Ball Super Bowl. I think... New Zealand Championship. I think Paul Simon's resigned to it, actually, sitting there he thinking... the flag up. No. If he gets a shot... This is a champion frame being played here. Yes. Soft screw back and you'd think. Can I say this is a five thousand dollar black? Yep. Okay. It's a five thousand dollar black. For him. But take a bow, Simon Single, and you fought tooth and nail, mate. So, what a wonderful occasion it's been with the Clippers here, John Berry. I appreciate your time. And the Devon Construction 8 Ball Super Bowl New Zealand champion for 2015 is Canterbury's own 